remember I said uh, the username for this panel at first is admin and the password is admin okay so all you need to do is to click enter and then log in so you're there so in here it will show you all what you need to know about all you need to know about your server or about your vitre panel so here it will be showing you the cpu usage the memory uh, the disk usage and the swap so it is zero out of zero because uh, around this server is it having a swap memory swap memory and uh, it will be showing you the speeds which are running here and each and everything so all you need to do is to come over here so you come over accounts here is where you can create accounts and uh, each and everything so you click plus add so we want to create a uh, a remark so a remark is what you want to name this so let me name this scott ug okay scott ug scott ug okay and when you look at this it will ask you for the tls but uh, tls is not it's not installed because for tls you need to have a domain attached to your to your server and having a, a ssl certificate so those are the things we, we are going to talk about in my next video but however since we are just here installing a, installing a, the panel because we want to use it for vpn so all you need to do is to come over here and click add after the account is created you will see that uh, you will see that uh, it is it, to show you the each and everything now all you need to do is to click here where you see the qr code and it will display the qr code of your credential which you've created and then all you need to do is to click either copy or you screenshot okay for your screenshot so i'm done with screenshotting you close so you go to your one of your best uh, vitre clients either it is android or pc so with the clients you can come over here to your settings and, and then you see uh, the panel clients or the clients which you can use so for windows you can go to github there is vitre ng for windows and then there is uh, that of max that is for um, mac users and then android there is kitsunebi then there is vitre ng there is bifrost there is then for ios there is kitsunebi and then i i there is shadow rocket for i2 that is for iphone users and many 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 stuffs here which so it will, it will depend on what you want so and then for pattern for panel settings all you need to do here is to change the uh, credentials for instance um i've signed in for this so anyone can sign in into this panel and change its credentials so it will depending on what you want but uh what if it's the only server which you have and you need to secure it so you can choose to change uh, the credentials here let me refresh the page understand so you can choose to you can choose to to change the credentials here so i can change the credentials of this panel maybe to scott ug the username and then the password i can type in the password i want or which password should i type in okay let me type in the one i want okay so though it is displaying there as well i'm going to change it just for here it is just for formality okay we can change it again to Scott UG, the way I've set it to be. So the password is up to date. Now and then log in into your panel with your with your usernames which you created. So the other one was Scott UG. Okay, Scott UG. And then Scott 
UG okay and then then you log in if you log in with a with a previous credentials it won't allow so that is it um save okay then all we need to do is to go back to our main page mm -hmm. and then we come you you select any of your vitore apk which you want so there is this one vitore ng which you've mentioned about click plus the plus icon here and then you click copy from clipboard so i've copied it from clipboard and this is our client we have created there so you can copy from the qr code remember i took a screenshot so you click qr code because it, it's not a live screen you are using the same device you can go to here where you see the cursor and then you click that then the device will open your internal storage the device will open your internal storage and then you come over here okay let's see come over here come over here and then you select so after selecting that image also that will be imported so let's click connect and see if to if we we'll get connected so when we check uh, we, sh we are already connected there and uh, this server is based in you and uh, so when you refresh this page you'll see that uh, you'll see that uh, the system will start to run and it will be showing you the updates of what you've been doing uh, of what your clients are doing so it will start uh, counting of uh, which each and every user okay so when we try to check accounts when you try to check accounts okay when you try to check accounts you see that uh, the traffic speed you see the data which is uh, the, the bandwidth and so on and the number of accounts which are running so um so in my next video i will show you so there are other apks which i've not shown you here for instance there is uh, the new version there is this new epic on the market which is called napstanet by one of uh, ugandan developer to your configurations but uh, all you need to, as well you only need to come over here and select uh, clipboard okay and then you select that preferred uh, so for this one if you connect and you come over the statistics it's very simple to detect uh, it will show that uh, the data is running okay and then when you click here you can test and see so for this apk there are many 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 stuffs which are there so it is running its adverts mm, as well there are many other apks like bifrost and so on so for this purpose of this video in my next videos i will show you lots and lots